This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See so what I'm thinking, see so I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. So I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, I am sensing uh antara 2.0 with these amc shares that are sitting around waiting to be sold to pay off debt okay and when i tell you i'm look I, i'm sensing an antara 2.0 here's why adam Aaron claimed when he first issued those ape shares that the purpose of the ape shares was to pay off debt but that's that wasn't the purpose of the ape shares the purpose of the ape shares, in my opinion, and my, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell ape, which shouldn't be shouldn't be sold anyway, but it's currently being sold on different markets. But that that's for another video. That's for another video. So, Adam Aaron said he created ape in order to pay off debt. Yet, when he first released ape, he could have sold a billion shares of ape. At eight dollars, paid off all the debt, and AMC would have been profitable, debt free, with a couple of billions in the coffers. But he did not do that. He waited till AMC dropped down. I mean, till Ape dropped down at sixty-two cents, and then he sold them to his buddy Antara. The way these guys are attacking AMC now, the way they're pushing AMC down now, this is the same thing they were doing to Ape. So is this? And Tara 2.0 is Adam Aaron holding on to these millions of AMC shares, waiting till they push AMC down to 62 cents to sell them to some pre-arranged buyer. I mean, that's that's the sentiment that I'm getting. That is the vibes that I'm getting. That is the energy that I'm getting. I am getting the energy that they are holding on to those shares, waiting for these bad actors to push the price down so they can sell them to somebody who's already been pre-arranged. Do I have any proof of that? No, I don't. But people's past behavior is usually a good indication of their future behavior. So if they did it before with eight, is it a stretch to think they would do it again with AMC to wrest control of the company? Out of the hands of retail investors? I would think so. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's possible that this is going to be Antara 2.0? Is Adam Aaron holding on to these shares, waiting for the price to crash, and then sell them to a pre-arranged buyer? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.